So the candidate for Vice President Mike Pence is the conservative who Trump picked to give him conservative cover. You can see the Trump meeting. No, I need a conservative. I need to make the conservatives happy. I want to take care of the evangelicals. He picks Mike Pence, a very strong pro-life, social conservative Republican from Indiana. Speaking two days ago to the American Conservative Union, Pence said it's time for us to come together. He's he, again, last night in his speech, uh, protect, wanted to protect the sanctity of life. He hit all the notes that drove, frankly, groups to support Ronald Reagan back in 1980. Jerry Falwell, the moral majority, Paul Weyrich, they were all watching and talking about secular humanism. That's what kind of spearheaded Reagan's campaign in 1980 against the establishment Republicans. Remember George Bush Sr. called Reagan's economic plan voodoo economics? He had a populist evangelical core that drove him early, and then Reagan took advantage of that and then won over the establishment Republicans. What is Trump trying to do? He's trying to secure the evangelical social conservatives. He actually did very well with them in the primaries, even though Donald Trump is not a real social conservative throughout his life, three marriages. I mean, Donald Trump, who said he doesn't have a problem with Caitlyn Jenner going into a men's bath or a women's bathroom in Trump Tower. I mean, the guy is from New York. He's not exactly a Bible thumper, let's face it. But he let the evangelicals write his platform, the RNC platform, was dominated by Tony Perkins. They put the planks in there like gay conversion therapy. They don't want legally married gay adults to be able to adopt. That's social conservative stuff like we haven't seen. But Trump doesn't care about the platform. He doesn't care about it. He said, let them have what they want. He's trying to secure the vote. Now, if Trump can secure that vote with Mike Pence, then he has to try to win over the establishment Republicans, all of the polite Republicans who have gone elsewhere. That's a challenge for Trump. But who thought a year ago Trump would be standing in this position? Does he turn on the charm? Does he hit all the right buttons talking about the economy? Does he score points going after Hillary, who all the Republicans hate, by the way. They're chanting this week on the floor, lock her up, lock her up. And when do you see that outside of Banana Republic? Lock up your opponent. Chris Christie had him fired up on his prosecutorial speech. Now, Trump has got to secure the, the conservatives, which Pence may have helped him do last night. Then he goes after the establishment. We'll see what happens. And those are my two cents. My two minutes are brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuig and his staff can redo your kitchen, your basement, your bathroom, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We talk about this and more on the radio tomorrow at 8 on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.